I'm going to go to layer new solid and uh, call this the glow layer and you'll see why in a second we're going to go to effect stylize well see that's why we call it glow it's a glow layer I told you I was going to tell you in a second I don't lie sometimes maybe just don't get mad at me okay um oh I'm sorry we're not making a layer let me delete that or wait are we making a layer hmm no we're going to go to layer new adjustment layer my bad and then wait wait for it okay then we're gonna hit enter and call this the glow layer and I'll tell you why in a second man this joke's not gonna go over well now that you know what it is there stylized glow so now that that's why it was called the glow layer and you guys don't get it but it would have been funny so this is just gonna glow a bit and we're gonna go from the glow colors original colors to A and B colors and select color A make it um orangish reddish and you know just like that a little reddish and then go to the B color change it to a yellowish orangish not too yellow where it's green not too yellow where it's orange yellow so then it's just gonna look like this and look like a heavenly cloud almost but um then we're going to go to the threshold. This is where it gets freaky. So when we turn it down, this is going to really bring out its fiery poten potential. We're going to about 5.1, and now it's going to really look like fire here a little bit. And then we're going to go to the radius and turn it to about like 26. The intensity, about 1.8. And now, as you can tell, it looks like fire. And see, if we didn't have... um. If we didn't have this, the layer, as you can see, if we just made it glow, it would just look like a glowing cloud. And it looks fire, and that would be good for explosions, but not enough. So that's why we have the Luma Matte layer, since so it kind of brings more edge to it and fieriness. So um, you can uh, go to this layer, and if we turn it on and solo it, um, and this glow layer as well, this is fire as you can see. So let's try not to make as much black spot. So if we go into the settings, um, turn the brightness up. If we do that, it'll kind of eliminate some. And then if we turn the contrast down, it'll kind of eliminate some. And that's that's okay. Maybe we'll turn the brightness up more. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so then we'll unsolo those layers, turn this back off, make sure it's this and this. And we'll wait for it to render. There we go. It's a little better. So it's still got that grungy to it. And, um, it's it's looking pretty good. My particles are a little little fat. So that would be um, changed in the size. So um, but before we do that, let's just go back to our glow layer, and um, we're gonna go to layer or effect stylized glow. Once again, that's why it's called the glow layer because we've got a billion glows. And if you want to make like a effecty fire, like come from the hands, like a special effect type thing, just adding that little glow and turning the intensity down might be what you're looking for, you know. But um, I want to make this realistic and looking real. So I am going to take uh, once again go to A and B colors, color A to about the same colors. You don't have to make them exact; it doesn't matter. But just do that. Okay, and then we're going to change color B to, once again, yellowish oranges. That's looking sweet. And once again, that other glow layer kind of makes it stand out a bit. But um, we're just going to take the threshold, bring it uh, down a bit, um, take the radius, and turn it up a lot. Okay, and this is just going to be the background layer. So if you see before after and it's a little more orange now if we turn the intensity down 0.6 that's perfect so if we see before after it looks a little better so with that note it's looking pretty fiery now right am I right okay um and once again I'm just gonna go into this layer and uh I'm trying to think what more we could do to make this more fire if we turn up the contrast more 
I don't know. But, um, so make this as fire as you can. It really all depends on this layer a lot. Um, the evolution and stuff, and then if we go to our trap code layer, change the particles a bit. Maybe make them not so big as much as I have them. Um, or maybe make them just come in like this. You know, not the small big. Just make them big. And, um, I don't know. I don't really like that. So, let's try this. See how that looks. See if we like it. If we love it. I don't know. I think it looks fine. Maybe we'll extend it so it just smooths in and then stays smooth. Or, um, maybe we'll kind of take it a little while. Smooth that out. And I think that looks a little better, actually, because they're not as big. And the size over life will also change it. Oh, that's not good, actually. Smooth. So, I mean, just mess with this as well, and that will give you a little of what you want as well. As well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just mess with all these settings. I mean... You know, it's kind of your preference, how you want it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so after we get that, right, I'll just, I'm going to bring this up more. Because we don't want those tiny particles. Not at all. So I'll just make it that, so they're not as tiny. See, they start out a little tiny, but not too tiny. Not too tiny. And then, as you can see, they get their full-grown size. So that's looking pretty good. Um, if we turn turn the size down to about like 170.8, because I love those points, um, we will get a little different look, and it won't be as big. And oh, that's 17.8, 170.8. So now, if we look at that, let's look at it. That's a little better. I like that. So I'm going to keep it at that, um, and then the one that thing we're going to do, as you know, this is all in one layer, so if we go back to our original comp, you remember, because we pre-composed it, so now it's all in one layer, and that's great. So we're just going to add some distortions now, to make it look a little, real, a little more realistic. So we're going to go to Effect, Distort, Turbulent Displace, and you can really do any distorts you want to make this look more fiery, and right off the bat, this is going to do some effects to it, and um, it's going to displace it turbulent so this place is turbulent so um we'll set the displace and turn it down to about 40 just a little less and size about 110 so if we look at the difference it's just a little more twist to it and a little more randomness because fire is random and if you only mess with the size and stuff and i didn't make this good because it's just a tutorial but um so yeah i mean this is uh Basically the this is basically the effect. So um just mess with this, um mess with the distortions and stuff. You could add more distortions and uh I'm saying not a lot, but uh yeah. So just uh you know, be creative. I mean this is how you make it. Wow, that's fast and that's little particles. I bet you need to actually make them bigger. So I think I went down way too fast and it's I don't know. That's looking pretty good. I mean, I think I like this, it's not looking too bad and uh you can use this for a lot of things and um actually this is transparent if we turn the transparency on so what you can do is um make a new solid maybe just uh let's see uh make a mask here going to the feathering we'll just feather that a bit and maybe we'll go to something like, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? We're just going to like, man, what are we going to do? Make a ramp. As you can see, it's transparent. So the fire will go over this. You know what I'm saying? So you can put live action footage of you going crazy karate moves and then make the fire come from your hands, making the position SY, the position, position 
X, Y to your hands. Which I've done that before, but not with this fire effect. And personally, I think this is one of the best fire effects you'll see on YouTube with trap code particular. So, um, that's the tutorial. I'll see you guys later in another tutorial. Keep those requests coming. I'll try to get to them. This is Michael Sawchuk signing out.